All right, let's get started. Uh, so first of all, my name is Peter Stowell. I am the product manager of FastScout. So today we'll be going over kind of off-season workflows, self-scouts, uh, a bunch of kind of creative ways to use FastScout. I think most of you are probably somewhat familiar with it. I've either used it during the season to create scouts against opponents or use, use it to send plays and videos around. Um, but obviously in, in this new normal we're all in with, with the virus, uh, we think that there's a lot of really interesting creative workflows uh, that support communicating with other coaches and with players in the off season. Um, so first, uh, I'm going to start here on the My Team page. A lot of this is going to be about you know looking at your own data, looking at yourself. Now that the games are are over for now, you know upcoming games coming up tomorrow or next week, it's really a good time to start looking at your own data. So whenever you sign into Fast Scout, first you'll be on your own team looking at your own dashboard. Um, so, you know, all sorts of different stats here from more advanced things in the fast scout factors or advanced stats down here to just simple box score stuff down here. It's a really good time just to kind of take stock of how your season went. How did, how did your team do in, in the advanced stats and the basic stats? A couple specific things I want to point out on this page that are, are super useful are one is rankings. So you'll see here for Villanova, we're showing rankings for all of division one cool thing that we do is if you're in the top third in all of division one and this applies as well for division two and division three we'll show you ranking in green if you're in the bottom third we'll show it in red and if you're in the middle third we'll show it in gray you can also see conference averages and division one averages and this all applies throughout division one two and three as well so a cool thing you can do here is switch your rankings from d1 to conference um, and see your rankings in those and again we do rank you out of the conference and same idea top third bottom third middle third for those colors. Um, we have another webinar I'll actually be running tomorrow to go into more in depth on all these advanced stats, how they're useful, how we recommend using them, integrating them into your scouts, explaining them to other coaches and players. So I'll be, I'll be running that tomorrow. So I won't dive too deep into that today, but make sure you sign up for that tomorrow if you're interested in advanced stats. Uh, down here in the box, just to point out, you can always switch between averages, totals, those advanced stats I've been referencing, and even per 40 stats down here as well. Another cool thing that we have on this page, of course, is the graphs. So you can look at any stats as graphs for those who are more kind of visual learners, don't want to just look at tables all day. Another kind of advanced feature I wanted to point out is these different splits. So I think this is especially useful at the end of the season when you have a lot more data. You know, all games in the last five are really useful during the year, but it's really cool at the end of the year to look at, you know, how your team did and what were the difference between your wins and losses. So when you click wins versus losses here, you're seeing two rows of stats and you can really compare not surprising you know Villanova shot better in games they won but you know how did the turnovers get affected how how was their offensive rating or was their pace different they happen to have a much quicker pace in their wins on their losses and then of course you can look at that for players down here as well too so a lot of cool things you can do here wins versus losses home versus away conference versus non-conference so we recommend you know especially at the end of the year the data is not changing anymore and you have a pretty good sample size you can really dive into all these splits and, and look at your team and players performance so the next thing I want to do is jump to the schedule. So here, of course, you can see your schedule throughout the year, see all of the specific games by clicking on box scores. And again, we'll go into more detail over all of this. Um, we have a, a different webinar on Monday that kind of dives deeper into all this sort of stuff. Uh, a brand new page that we just created is the roster page. So we've had roster page for a while, but for anyone who uses this year, you'll notice it looks a lot prettier now. Um, and we have some new functionality where you can switch between one or two players per row and even sort by different things, number, name, points per game, for example. So obviously super useful to kind of step back and look at your team at, at a macro level. You can, of course, print this out as well. Um, so anything you do for your own team, you can, of course, do for your opponent. But again, this will this webinar is mostly about self-scouting, looking at, looking at yourself in the off-season. So... Next, I'm going to jump into the self scouts tab. So there's really two ways to start looking at your own scouts. You can either be on your own team here and click on self scouts and see all of these, or you can jump into the dedicated scouts tab. And a lot of you are probably used to working on the opponent scouts tab, but you'll notice the self scouts is right next to that. And so I'm seeing the exact same list I saw again on my team self scouts is in here. So I'm going to show you guys some examples of different kind of scouts that you can do. But I want to point out like these are just you know things I've, I've thought of. Um, the, the point of this webinar is really to pique your interest to figure out what works best for you. Uh, I don't expect anyone's, you know, scouts to look exactly like mine. You can use them as templates if you want. Um, but we think, you know, coaches can be really creative here. And we've seen some really cool, cool things, how, you know, different programs like to run things in the off season. Um, so first I'm going to jump into what I'm calling the self scout for the webinar. 
So when I come in here, um, this is again, just an example. And I kind of, this is a more detailed one, a little bit longer, just to show you all the different things that you can do. Obviously when you usually create a, a scouting report, it's against your opponent. Maybe I should jump back here for a second just to create it. If I'm in self scouts, I can just click new scouting report and boom, you just, you know, name it whatever you want. Game date, you'll just want to, you know, set to now or any time in the future. All this means is the stats will be updated up to this date. So you wouldn't want to, you know, select a, a time in, in February, for example. And then, of course, templates are handled the same way as opponent scouts. You can start from a blank template. Or if you have any saved templates, you can click here and click on those to, to start from your template. And to, you know, create templates and all the, those workflows, that'll be uh, another webinar a little bit in a little bit more detail we have next week. Uh, Jimmy, our, our head of our client services team, will be running that. So jumping back into the self scout webinar, obviously I'm in scout builder here. So, you know, there's from really simple things, but of course coaches use a lot to these little textiles that act as little mini word processors. You can type in whatever you want. So I, you know, had some ideas, type in my team strengths and weaknesses this year, maybe offensive strategy you want to work on this off season defensive strategy. Of course, any, any, anything you guys can think of can be popped in here. We of course have all the, you know, normal word processing stuff, bullet points, numbering, et cetera. I'm just gonna scroll through the scout to give you guys an idea of all the different types of tiles you can have. And just like opponent scouts, all of these can be fully customized however you want. So again, jumping into a box score, I can click on settings. I can you know, choose what games I wanna see in this box score. I can even throw out specific games I don't care about you know, for whatever reason, or I just wanna look at conference or wins or whatever. I can of course adjust my stats. We have all these basic and advanced stats. And again, if you guys have questions on these advanced stats, we'll go through that in more detail tomorrow. Another important thing to point out is not everyone has access to all the advanced stats. So if you're interested to upgrading, to have access to all the advanced stats, contact your account manager and we can demo that for you and figure out how we can get that in for your school. And then of course you can change your column order, add or remove players, You know all the things you're used to for normal opponent scouts, you can of course do for self scouts. So we have a box score, you know, fast scout factors, looking at the rankings, all these leaders tiles coaches are used to. You can, of course, look at your own team for that, sort and search by different things, team stat splits. A couple more of the advanced sets I want to go over that I think are especially useful for, um, for self-scouts. One is clutch stats. So you can look at how your players did in clutch situations. And this can, of course, be customized by, again, jumping back into the settings. I can change my parameters. So I can say, you know, by default, I'm looking at stats for my players when there's less than five minutes in the game and the score's within five points. But if I want, I can kind of broaden those parameters. So maybe I want to say, you know, less than two minutes and score within 10 points or might make more sense to do more like 10 minutes and 10 points. You know, a reasonably close game there in the second half. If you're a women's coach, they'll say fourth quarter instead of second half here. You can add or remove stats, add or remove players, of course. Click save and you'll see those update in real time right now. Scrolling down here, uh, we got our lineup stats. So lineup stats are another really cool advanced feature we have where we see for players on the floor, how did the team form when these groups of players on the floor? So of course this is available for opponent scouts, which is interesting, but it's probably, we got those clutch stats loaded there at the top now, uh, but probably even more interesting for self scouts because obviously you, you can't control the opponent's lineups, but you can control your own lineups. So you can see again, how players performed and all these advanced stats, which we'll go into more detail in our advanced stats webinar tomorrow. But you can look at that for five player lineups, three player lineups, and even individual player lineups down here. So I'm gonna pause really quick for questions. I know I'm flying through pretty quick. Um, so I'll give you guys a minute to, to type in anything you can think, um, and then we'll, we'll move on from there. We have a good question here. Can you create a self scout, but just for individual players? Absolutely. That's actually the, the next scout I'm going to go over is a uh, self scout meant for just an individual player. Next question we have is, can you change the stats on clutch stats from averages to totals? Absolutely. So if I come back up here, go to settings, and just like other stats, you can just click on them here to toggle between averages and totals.
So next question, one of your boxes had comparison of conference averages. Can you show how to pull that in? Sure, I think I know what you're talking about. So if I jump up here, so I think fast scout factors is probably what you're referencing. So if I jump into the settings here, you can look at the games tab, but then if I look at options, I um, mean, have a bunch of different options here. So, you know, right now we're looking at a self scout. So your opponent is obviously yourself. So I'm pulling in Villanova offense and defense. If this was an opponent scout, you know, Villanova is playing Marquette. I could look at Marquette stats as my opponent, look at myself, you know, Villanova stats by checking on these boxes. And then here I can see the conference average will be on by default. If the team you're playing against, and this is against opponents, more for opponent scouts, is actually in a different conference than yours, you'll be able to pull in your own conference and your opponent's conference. So you can see these two checkboxes. But to add or remove any of these, you just check them on and off like that. All right, great questions. I'll, I'll keep chugging along here, but I'll, I'll make sure to pause in another couple minutes because I know uh, there's a lot here. All right, so back here underneath the lineup stats. So here we, we jump into personnel. Now, most of you have probably seen personnel tiles before, um, but you might want to treat them a little bit differently, you know, looking at your own team. So, of course, totally customizable, like any stat where you can pull in, you know, any splits you want. I have all games in last five here, but again, you could change this to be conference. That might, you know, make a little bit more sense in the offseason. Check off last five, add conference. Boom, Sadiq will update there. We have ways to, you know, update all your players super easily just by clicking here and then apply player layout to all your players. And again, some of these details will go into more detail in, in other uh, webinars. So if you're not familiar with some of the stuff I'm quickly referencing, make sure to sign up for other webinars where we really dive into all the functionality inside of Fast Scout. So a great new thing we have, of course, is the shot charts and personnel tiles. So I really love this feature. You can look at all these uh, for your different personnel tiles. And then, of course, video, probably our, our coolest feature here. When you click on this video icon, you can see I pulled in these three videos from Synergy. You have an option to pull any videos you want in from your computer or from Synergy. So if I click from Synergy here, up should pop up my Synergy modal. So this will, again, uh, just be all your Synergy edits and clips that you've created. So clicking on Sadiq Bay here, this, again, is just referencing whatever you guys have done in Synergy. I can click on as many clips as I want. I can even, you know, filter or search over here by different things, any tags you've created or in and out points will pop in as well. And then when I want, I just click add, add a clip and boom, it pops right in. So we have other webinars again that go into a little bit more detail on video, but I just wanna show you guys that really quick, especially with Synergy Clips, that's super huge for self scouts. Uh, you can pull those in really, really easily. All right. Jumping into the next thing here. So obviously you can fill out your, your strengths and weaknesses, but these textiles can be whatever you want. I just did a, a page of personnel. You guys would probably have more than that in, in your own scouts. Um, next page I, I did are some shot charts. So obviously I had those individual shot charts. I put on those personnel tiles for players, but then you can pull in team shot charts um, down here. So I, pretty usual thing I think to look at the off season, especially as you have more data uh, we have three different types of shot charts, these hex ones you're seeing here, a zone one, and then we have a, a simple make and miss one. I'll go over in a little more detail here in a bit. Um, but you can pull these in. Again, you can filter it by different splits just by jumping to the games tab, conference. Again, you can throw out games. All those customizations exist here. But you know, you can really see how your team did maybe in wins versus losses. Not a surprise Villanova shot a lot better in their wins versus the losses, but you can see, you know, especially from where, where were the big differences? Where was the volume bigger or lower? And where was the efficiency better or lower? And then at the bottom here, I pulled in some play diagrams. So a lot of you guys are probably familiar with the plays tab, if you have access to that. A relatively new thing we have is the ability to pull in specific plays right into your Sky report. So again, in Scout Builder, you can really do whatever you want. You can pull in stats, notes, video, shot charts now. Of course, on these play diagrams, you can pull in video too. So, you know, we think that this, this scout itself could be a super useful thing to at least send your coaches and even to your players. You might, you know, not necessarily want your players to see your notes on every other player on your own team. And for that purpose, we can jump into a different scout. So here I've created like an individual player scout. So, you know, maybe I wanted to give Sadiq some feedback on his season. So this will be all about Sadiq Bay here. So jumping into him, I pulled in more stats for him. Some of our more advanced stats, extra uh, rows of splits here. So Sadiq can see all of his stats throughout the year. You can point out any interesting differences. 
And then, you know, you can make tiles like this. Where can you improve Sadiq offensively and defensively? What drills do we want you to run in the off season, et cetera? And then of course you can pull in your video as well here too. Um, I have kind of another scout that's all about kind of drills and workouts, but that's something you could pull into these individual player scouts where whether they're in synergy or you've saved them to your computer, you could pop them in right here. And then when you send the scout to Sadiq on his phone, which we'll go through here in a second, he'll be able to see all those drills and videos as well. So for clutch stats, you can look at, you know, Sadiq's clutch stats. So I just deselected the rest of the player. You can look at Sadiq's lineup stats for any lineups he was in. Jumping down here, I added a bunch of shot charts just for Sadiq. So he can easily analyze how did I do in all season, conference, wins, losses, et cetera, home and away. You're seeing those hex and zone shot charts. And then down here, these are, you know, simpler shot charts that are just from individual games. We call these our make slash miss shot charts. So cool idea is, you know, here's your shot chart for your game against Butler. You didn't play as great. Let's go over why. You can add notes to that. And then you can even pull in the video uh, for that game itself by, again, using that synergy integration and, again, typing in titles and any notes, you know, what, what he did well or poorly in any of these possessions that you pull in. All right, we're going to jump to mobile next, but I want to pause again for any questions. All right, doesn't look like we have any more questions for now, so I'll keep chugging along here, but I'll stop in about five more minutes again for, for any more questions. Oh, great question coming in here. Do you have to make each individual player to the mobile app so that others can't see? I will answer that question right now. Perfect. So to send a specific scouts to the mobile app, you can be back here on this page and you have two ways to do it. You can either click on the mobile glyph itself or you can go into this extra menu and click on mobile access. I'll just click on the mobile glyph itself. So here we'll pop in all your coaches and players. Um, as long as you set them up, if you guys need help setting them up, it's something we can absolutely help you out with. Reach out to, to our support team, uh, support at fastmodelsports.com and we'll give you guys a little tutorial on how to do that. So these are you know, just some of my, my coworkers here. I haven't set up all of Villanova's roster on this page, but you can absolutely just send it to specific people. So you know, Maybe I'll send this one that I made for Sadiq Bay to me and we'll pretend Dan Oaks is actually Sadiq Bay. So I send it to me and him, click save, no one else. So just me and him will get it. We get a push notification on our phone immediately um, on our phone or iPad for that matter, I should point out. And we are now actually available on iPhone, iPad and Android. So if any of your, your players, coaches have Android phone, you can download that on the Google Play Store now. And so that scouting report will just have been sent to us too. Alternatively, you know, for the, this bigger one I created that we went over first, I can click here and I've sent this to everyone. Maybe I only want to send this, you know, to my coaches, don't want my players all saying it, boom, send it to my four coaches, click save, only those four coaches will get it. So that's, that's how you control that. Great question there. I realized before I jump into the phone, one other thing I wanted to show on the web. This is another one of our advanced features that we'll go through in more detail in a different webinar, but all these scouts can be entered into in presenter mode. So you'll see this play icon on the top. So now I'm back in that first scout, kind of more detailed scout I showed you guys, but this applies to any scout you create. You click presenter mode, you start with this nice new title slide we actually released last week. They'll just show whatever header you created on your scout inside of presenter mode. And then you can just click through to view all your tiles, you know, look at all your stats, this is probably especially useful, you know, to look at those, those personnel tiles. Clicked on Sadiq Bay here. 
Uh, the great thing is we also have the, all these keyboard shortcuts, which we can go into more detail in a, a different webinar, but I can basically just click tab here. I'll mute it so it's not super loud for us and click spacebar and start playing back the video. So I can jump between all my videos just like this. Um, another great thing is once you give players or uh, players access um, to the scouts on the web, sorry, on the phone, it also gives them access on the web. So this is something that's totally optional, but if you guys want, you know, you can let your players sign in on the web and they can actually view scouting reports. Only ones you have granted them access to. But you know, if I was Sadiq Bay and we go back to that Sadiq Bay scout I created. So here for Sadiq, again, if I've given him access on the phone, he could log in on the web. And if he entered the scout, he'd be able to see the scout itself. He wouldn't have any access to anything here on the left or anything on the top. Everything would be in read-only mode. He wouldn't be able to edit anything, but he could view it kind of in this paper format, or even better, he could view it in presenter mode too. So just giving you know flexibility for players to view things however they want. If they're on their phone or an iPad, that's great. We'll go over that in a second. But it, you know, if they want to use their computer and look at things you know, on a bigger screen, even AirPlay for the Apple TV, we've had some players and coaches doing that, which I think is pretty sweet. Sadiq could look at everything on here if you give him access. Another good question we have coming in here, can the player write on the scout with an Apple Pencil and save those notes? That is a fantastic question. The answer is not yet, but it's something we're actively looking into. Uh, we think it'd be really cool uh, to, to do that. We're looking at the ability to do that and to even communicate through the app. It's a, it's a pretty difficult thing to do as we've investigated, but it's absolutely something on our, on our long-term roadmap. So I can keep you, keep you updated specifically on that as we move forward with that functionality. All right, so let's jump to the mobile app itself. So let me get my phone up and running here, get my app open. Okay, boom. So now you're seeing the mobile app, which again is live. We've had hundreds of coaches, thousands of players using it all throughout the season this year. So usually you know you're on the opponent scouts tab here on the bottom left, but today we're gonna to be jumping into the self scouts tab. So here's the three scouts I've created. I'll go through the third scout here on the web in a little bit. Uh, but first we can click on that overall big self scout I created. So tap on that. Now I'm saying all the exact same tiles in the same order as I built them on the web. Everything looks really nice and clean. I can click on Sadiq, see those stats, notes, shot charts looks awesome. And of course the video underneath plays back really nicely, streams by default, but you can download videos for offline usage too. Scroll down here and see all the shot charts, tap on one, you can add videos to those as well and the play diagrams as well show up just as you know frames in a row and then see videos underneath. So let's jump into the, the Sadiq Bay one specifically. So I've got an individual player. So now you know you can see my, my computer screen and my phone, everything's in the exact same order. Click on a, a different stat or a different player, see all those notes and those videos underneath. So here's one, you know, I actually created, gave some feedback to Sadiq. He had a nice middle drive here. We need more of that next season, et cetera. Uh, another nice functionality is this play all. My dad's calling, so I give him a call back after. So you can even click play all and it goes in kind of this big play all screen. And once the first video is done, I'll, I'll scroll through here so you don't have to watch the whole thing. The second video will start up right away. If it's a long video, you can Tell your players it's okay to go to slow-mo or fast-mo, et cetera. And again, all this is tracked, so we can tell you know who watches what, um, how long that they spend in the app, and I'll go through that here in a second as well. So there you can see all this Sadiq Bay content I've sent down to him. It's a super powerful way to communicate one-on-one -on -one with the player in the off-season. All right, let's go over uh, tracking usage. So back here on the scouts page, I can click here and go to mobile usage. So here, I just since I've been demoing this with you guys, I've been the only one in here, but normally this would be the list of all your players and coaches that you've granted access to. So if uh, a user clicks on a tile, let's open the tile, we mark that as viewed. So I've looked at two of the 16 tiles here. And if they've watched at least 90% of the video, we, walk, we mark that video as watched. So I've watched one out of 11 of my videos. So you can always track usage for any scout you create with that button there. All right, I'm gonna pause again for questions. Feel free to write in anything you guys got.
All right, so good question I missed here. Uh, can you show how to reproduce that same individual scout for different players? Absolutely. So if I jump back into this one, uh, I'll show you kind of the, the quick and easy way to do it right now. Let me just get my window figured out. Perfect. So, you know, once I've created this scout, I can create a template. An individual player template for now. And again, in a, for more details and templates, join, join our, uh, I think our Monday webinar and many more coming up. We'll go into this process in more detail. So again, I've created this one on Sadiq, put in all this info, click done. Now I can create a new scouting report for Gillespie, right? Save template. I can even search if you have a lot of templates here, a little power user trick, search for it. Boom, there it comes up. And when I click create here, actually brought in Justin Moore, but I can easily change that to settings. Okay, click on Gillespie, boom. So it's really easy to create a template and then just switch your player out to whoever you want. It's selected by default, kind of the, the next highest, most minutes per game player. That's the way it does by default, but then you can easily switch it, of course, just by clicking settings and choosing whatever player you want. All right, any other questions for now? All right, keep chugging along here. So the third kind of scout I wanted to create as an example for you guys is like an off-season workout scout. So I'll click on this one here. So this is less about, you know, a game or any stats. This is, you know, what workouts and drills do we want our, our players to do here in the off season? So I just create a little section header. Uh, that's this tile up here titled it workouts. And then I added a bunch of workouts I want my players to do, gave them even directions here. And the best part of course, is you can add video to these like any other tile. So here you can see this very muscular guy showing you how to do a lateral lunge. You can add as many videos as you want. We have no limits on, on video storage either. Or, or length of videos, you can add those to each workout. So, you know, give a guided workout to all your players. And then, you know, something a lot of coaches use fast draw for itself is creating drills. So if you've added any drills inside of fast draw, or, you, you know, even download any from the play bank, there's a lot of really cool drills on there we recommend looking at. You can add those into here. So here's a couple shooting drills I actually found this morning here on the play bank. Click play here, and then, you know, you can see the video of, of a player, you know, running that drill to make sure your players understand it. So this is a more creative way to use Scout Builder, right? It's not about, you know, an opponent scout or self scout or even any stats. It's really just like a, a Google Docs, but for basketball coaches where you can put in whatever you want and then add these videos. And then again, you just send this down to the phone with, with the same uh, process I was showing you guys earlier. And then I can click on, sorry, not that one, my office and workout web webinar. I got all my workouts. There it is. There's the video I can start playing back. And then there's my drills and I can add as many as I want. Have your players look through the drill and then watch the video there at the bottom. So tons of flexibility here. You know, we, we've seen coaches come up with stuff we never even would have thought of, but that, that's the great power of Scout Builders, it's flexibility. So we really want you guys to experiment, play around with all these different tiles, see, see how they can be most useful to you. We have all these different design options with different themes. We even have a landscape mode now where you can look at your Scout in landscape versus portrait, change your logos around, change your colors around. There's tons of customization options in there that are absolutely worth playing around with. Then of course, probably less likely you'll do it this time of year, but you can print things or you click this button as well to save something as a PDF and email it around too. And if you have any questions on anything, a quick shortcut to the help is always here on the top right. All right, I'm gonna pause once more for questions. Then we probably got about five more minutes and I'll fly through here at the end. So feel free to write any other questions you guys have.
All right, I think we're, we're good to finish up here. Um, so I've shown you guys everything I want in Scouts. Let's jump into plays and videos. So we had a webinar yesterday and another one next week all about the plays tab and faster integration. We'll go into more detail, but especially in the off season, I think this is a super useful workflow. So all your fast drop plays come in here automatically now. If you don't have access to the plays tab, again, reach out to our account managers. We'd love to give you guys access. We're also happy to do free trials at this time of the year, especially so you guys can get used to it, create some of these scouts, send it out to your players. So, so reach out to either your account manager or email sales at fastmodelsports.com. If there's anything here you don't have access Access to that you'd love to, to give a shot. All right, so back here on the plays tab, again, all your fast draw plays show up here on the left, all the same functionality you're used to from fast draw where you can search and filter and sort. Um, you can add any play to the phone just by clicking on the glyph. See one's in the team's color, so the dark blue for Villanova have already been sent. And if you want to send a bunch at once, just click here. Then you know I can check as many as I want, click manage access. And just like with the scouts, I can pick and choose individual players or coaches or send it to everyone if I want. I already sent some there, so I'll just cancel out of that. Um, of course, you can add video here too from your computer or from Synergy. Um, and then the great thing we have that's pretty recent is now playbooks are coming through. So here's some of the playbooks I created inside of Fast Draw. This is actually a shooting drill I downloaded this morning that I pulled into the Scout. So you can alternatively have it in this playbooks area as well. Of course, add video from your computer from Synergy, um, download the playbook, print it, et cetera. So obviously we have more and more coaches interested in this in the off season, new players coming in or changes you're making to your playbook. This is a great way to communicate it. Same way to send it down to the phone. And I'll just jump back to the phone here so you guys can see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty smooth. There's my Fast Scout app. Got my plays tab here at the bottom. Tap there and all those you know plays I've sent to my players are down there on the phone. So you really have flexibility here. You can add plays inside of your Sky Report and have the players view them inside of the Sky Report. Or if you just want to have them on the dedicated plays tab, that, that works great too. So here I can, of course, click on any play and just like you saw in the Sky Report, see the play with the video underneath. Now we have the dedicated playbooks one. There's a little test one I made earlier. I could add video and I have this nice playbook viewer here on the phone. And then the final tab I want to go through is the videos tab. So this is all about just the quickest way to send video to your players. You can always add video to a scout or to a play and that works great. But if you just have any, any random video and you just want to get to your player's phone as fast as possible, that's what the videos uh, tab is great for. So we have coaches using this in really creative ways, adding your video again from your computer or from Synergy. Same idea with mobile access, click here. I could even select all or select individual ones, send it to all my players or specific players. And then on the phone, dedicated videos tab where users can just go down here and watch each video as they want. They even have some search and sort functionality here at the top. So a lot of creative ways to use the videos tab. Um, I'll leave that to you guys, kind of the, the best ways that you can think of, but that's absolutely the, the fastest way to just get content to your players' phones as fast as possible. All right, that was a lot. I'm gonna pause one last time for any more questions that you guys have. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, anything else that comes up later, just write into to our support team and, and we'll get back to you on, on anything that you guys see. So I'll pause for another minute for questions and then wrap up. Question here, do the plays show up in the scout with the same headers like they do when you were in the playbook view? They do. Um, the nice thing is inside the scouts, by default, they'll have the same headers. So let me jump into one here. So by default, sorry, scrolling down this, this long scout, it'll have the series name and the play name on the play header itself. But the great thing in the scout that you actually can't do on the plays tab is you can edit this to what you want. So if you want this to be a custom title one, 
that's totally fine with us. You guys can overwrite it to anything you want. So there's obviously always a little extra flexibility in Scout Builder. And then when you send that down to the phone, it'll show up as custom title one for that specific play. Great question. All right, everyone, thank you so much for your time today. I hope you guys thought this was useful and really piqued your interest for kind of creative new ways to use FastScout. This is the time of year where we really love feedback. We love it all, all the time of year, but this time of year is super actionable since we're in the off season now. Our, our engineers can be focused on feedback we get from coaches. So please reach out to us, to your account manager, to our, our support team with anything you know positive or negative. We like to hear it all. Uh, that gives us obviously some runway with, with the off season starting earlier now to, to take your, your feedback into consideration and, and see how we can improve the product even further uh, in time for next year. So, so please reach out to our team. We'd love to hear from you guys um, and let us know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, et cetera. All right. Well, thank you all for your time. Uh, we will have a recording of this posted. Uh, we'll, we'll reach out to you. I think it'll be posted on our YouTube page, but I'll make sure with that so you guys can review this later. Um, and please make sure to keep signing up for webinars. Again, I'll be doing one on advanced stats tomorrow. I'm a big stats nerd, so I'm excited about that. And we have a, a bunch more webinars that kind of dive deeper into all these features throughout the next couple of weeks. All right. Thank you all for your time. See you later.